Hello everyone, Michelle from Sugar Prism here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make these really fun and super easy crackle cookies. You're gonna be amazed at how easy these are to make. You can use whatever your favorite cookie dough recipe is for this. For this, you want to leave your dough thick because we're gonna be rolling it again later. The Sugar Prism Edible Acrylic Mix colors we're using for this are Hottie Pink, Hawaiian Blue, Monarch Orange, Purplicious, Grasshopper Green, Dandelion Yellow, and Winter White. For this, all we're gonna do is just add a few drops of water into each one of those colors. It really doesn't take a lot of water to dilute the paint. And the consistency you're going for is sort of like a medium acrylic consistency. I think it's a lot of fun watching those vibrant colors activate. And Sugar Prism Paint is a really nice vanilla flavor, so you don't have to worry about it ruining the taste of your treats. There's so many fun things you can do with this paint. You can even airbrush with it. Sugar Prism Paint is so easy to use. Look at how smooth and creamy it is. It truly is just like a real art paint. So once you have those all mixed together, let's get started with the fun stuff. I'm using one of the Sugar Prism brand Natural Bamboo Artist Brushes for this. Not only are these beautiful brushes, but they perform beautifully and the bristles on them are certified food grade, so you don't have to worry about them touching your treats. For this next step, what you're going to do is you're going to take your cookie cutters and you're going to just make a small indent into your cookie dough. You don't want to press all the way through. We, there's no need to cut the cookie just yet. We're just leaving a little impression in the dough. Now, if you're only using one cutter with one color, you don't have to do this step. You can skip this step and just paint across the dough. Okay, now for the fun part. All you have to do is just paint right across the dough. And depending on how thick you want that paint to be, you know, that's totally up to you. I'm just giving it a nice, even coat all the way across. The thicker your paint is, the longer it will take to dry. But for this coat that you see me putting on here, it will take about maybe 30 minutes or so to dry. And once you learn how to do this, there's so many different things you can apply this technique to for your cookies. You can use it for alligator or dinosaur skin, maybe leather texture on purses and jackets or, you know, lots of wood grains. You know, a lot of people do like these pretty wood frame or wood grain cookies. Make sure you always clean your beautiful brushes out before you store them back in the case. This next step is very important. You want to make sure that that paint is completely dry before we start rolling it again. And watch this. This is so easy, it's just like magic. All you have to do is start rolling your dough to the thickness that you want your cookie. And you'll see the more you roll your dough, the bigger those crackles get. Just make sure you're not having so much fun making these crackles that you don't accidentally roll your dough too thin. When you get your crackle to where you want it to be, all you have to do is take your cutter, place it down in the center of that painted area, and cut it out. There is no easier way to create a crackle cookie than this. Look at how fun these are. Aren't those beautiful? Think of all the different things that you can create a wood grain on for your cookies. And I absolutely love this little flower. It really gives it this whimsical, artsy kind of style. While you're rolling, if you notice a little bit of the paint sticking to your rolling pin, all you have to do is just take a little bit of cornstarch and just dust it right across the top of that. And you're gonna see how vibrant those colors hold through baking. You can also use this technique on pie dough. Now, where do I want to cut that Easter egg? I think it looks pretty good right there. I still have a little bit of that painted dough left over, so I'm gonna take this little butterfly and a little flower 
and cut out a couple more, why not? Those match perfectly with my Easter set. And then you're just gonna bake them as you normally would your cookie dough recipe. Look at how fun it is to create an Easter egg cookie. And there they are, see how vibrant they hold the color after you bake them? These are so fun, I just love this technique. I can't wait to use this on a dinosaur or alligator cookie. I love the way the paint looks on the naked cookies, but I think I'm going to add just a few little details onto the bunny. And for this, I'm going to use just a pinch of the Purplicious Sugar Prism paint, just adding water to it to dilute it. And I think I'm gonna keep this design simple. I'm just gonna add some little details inside the ears and maybe give him a cute little bunny nose. And that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For all of our products, you can find them on our website, sugarprism.com. Stay tuned for more fun tutorials with Sugar Prism products. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Happy painting from Sugar Prism Premium Sugar Art Products.